Well, hi guys, I'm Mona. Thank you for being here. I think I may have just found my new favorite foundation and concealer combo all in one. And I didn't even know this existed. Have you guys seen this? So this is a new release apparently from MAC. It looks like an injector. Look how innovative this is. And it's not just innovative, I actually like it. So I've been trying this every which way from Sunday and I'm gonna let you decide if this just might be worth your beauty dollars. It is a combo concealer and foundation all in one and it comes in this cute packaging. If this sounds like something you're interested in hearing about, stick around, we're about to get right into it. it looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they want to be. Yeah. And all the Dolce Chani score. So welcome if you're new and thank you if you are returning. We are going to do a deep dive into this new foundation concealer combo from MAC. So I just happened to see this reviewed by Nisha on the channel Sugar Bluff and Puff and I'm going to link that channel in the description and that video so you can go and see her review. That's the only review I've seen on this. I didn't know it existed but she said it might just be her new favorite concealer foundation combo and so I thought I'd try it out. So if you're new, my skin is dry, it's sensitive, it's redness prone, it is rosacea prone, and it's basically fussy and textured. And I try a lot of foundation and primers to try to find the perfect one. I'm impressed. We're going to see if you're impressed. So what are the claims on this? It says... You can conceal and correct with the MAC Studio Fix everywhere all over face pen infused with vitamin E, hyaluronic acid, and caffeine with completely customizable coverage depending on your unique natural complexion. This two-in-one concealer and foundation pen is your 36-hour savior providing transfer-free and waterproof concealment all day. Sounds perfect for summer in South Louisiana. Every concealer pen in this airbrush collection is crease resistant while also working to reduce the appearance of redness which is important to me and unwanted blemishes in 33 flexible medium to full buildable shades in a natural looking matte finish. So waterproof non-settling, non-caking, non-creasing, non-streaking, non-streaking up to 36 hours. That sounds fabulous, but foundations always make claims that sound fabulous. We're going to put it to the test for you today. I have already been testing it. I've tried it with primers, without primers, with helpers, without helpers, and I have some thoughts as I usually do. So let's start with the application. I'm going to move these bangs out of my way. I am desperately in need of a haircut, which is scheduled for this weekend. So when I saw that video, I that was the first time I saw this product. I don't remember seeing it anywhere. So I looked it up online and I saw it at Harrods for $36, which is on the low end of the concealer and foundation spectrum when you're getting two in one that's definitely more affordable and it gives you 0.41 fluid ounces which is a little bit more than you normally get which is the 30. So let's apply this. I'm going to apply half with a sponge how I usually apply it and half with a brush just so you can see. So it does come with a little stopper just to keep the product from leaking, but I haven't found it leaking. So I'm going to take this out. You squeeze the component at the bottom to get the drops. I guess that my shade, since I was ordering it online, and I went with the N15. 
So let's take my foundation brush. Look at that coverage. Holy moly. And you can use it as a concealer too. And today is a good day to show you how this performs because I have a cold, a sore throat, my nose is runny. I did put on my brows and I did put on just a tiny bit of eye makeup, but nothing else. I don't have a primer, I just have my skincare on. So it says a natural matte finish, but you see I have a little bit of radiance here. I like it. It's not a flat matte. I think this is very flattering. I mean, I'm going to tell you already, I like this foundation. I really, really like this foundation. And I can't believe that it was hiding and I didn't even know it was out there. Okay, so on this side, I'm going to use my makeup sponge, which is my preferred method usually of applying. I'm just using kind of what was already on the tip. I haven't squeezed any more product out. And of course, you get a sheerer coverage with a sponge. But it's still a good coverage. As you can see my redness still shows here, but it doesn't show here. I didn't apply quite as much product on the side either though. Definitely buildable. It says it's specifically made to cover imperfections in your skin tone and redness and do some color correcting as well as provide coverage. I love multi-purpose products that actually perform. Uh, maybe you could have went up one color shade to an NC30, but the 15 is not too light for me. I'm just checking, going to check my mirror to make sure I have even coverage application. And I have you in natural light. Right by my window. But I will take you outside too. So I feel like that this is I feel like this is blurring my pores. I think it provides excellent coverage. I could build this up to a full coverage if I wanted. I like the way it looks on my skin. Usually I can't find a foundation that looks this good with this much coverage for me. In order for me to have foundation look good at my age, I usually have to go with a tinted moisturizer or a skin tint something with very light coverage. If not, it's sinking into every line and every wrinkle. It's accentuating everything negative about my texture or my pores. And this doesn't. It actually provides really good coverage without those downsides. So I'm gonna zoom you in. Then I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup on. And then I'll take you outside in the bright light and then we'll do a wear test. So isn't this component so cute? I don't find it hard to use at all. It comes out easy. I like it. You can definitely throw this on your, in your purse for travel. It's not messy. It's light plastic. It's really an affordable price when you combine the, it's not drugstore price, but when you combine the fact that it is a concealer and it's a foundation all in one and you can also use it on your eyes as a base for your eye makeup i just i'm impressed nc15 is the color i chose so i am loving this Too faced blush i've been going back and forth with this i find that this also blurs my cheeks very nicely 
Then going back and forth between this and the Essence. And Goldie Cassie has been my favorite shade out of the ones that I bought. But I'd like to pick up all of them. I think this is a beautiful blush. And I wouldn't mind having several of these colors as well. So I'm not going to go into bronzer and the whole look. We're really going to focus on the foundation today. I am going to use the e.l.f. lipstick that I am loving in Dirty Talk. I think this definitely rivals high-end lipsticks. Without the high-end price. It feels really good on. So I'm going to take you outside to look at it and then we're going to come back for a wear test. I'm coming back for a four hour check in. The only thing I've touched up is my lipstick. So I wanted to show you also that this is transfer proof. Nothing comes off. Nothing comes off on my phone. So I think that it holds true to those claims. Check my mirror. I don't think it's doing any breaking up at all. I don't think that it's settling anywhere that it doesn't. It doesn't smooth out this texture right here, but I don't really have anything that does. It's not gathering. It looks nice. We're not testing it out for 36 hours. But I think that so far so good. I actually like it as a concealer too. So today I, I did not use any primer. I did not use any under eye products and I did not set it with powder. I left it just as it was. But I have used it with primer and I like it a little better with primer. I wanted to show you that it can perform like this with no helpers. If it can look this good with no helpers, imagine if you add helpers. So with a primer my skin always looks better because it helps my texture. And a powder can help set if you have oil breakthrough. I really don't have a lot. I think that this one looks better the longer I wear it because as some of my natural oils come through, I feel like it soaks into my skin even more and instead of looking worse, it improves with time. And it does feel hydrated. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't crack or sink into the wrong places. This is just turning out to be, this is turning out to be a beautiful surprise product. I wasn't expecting to find this one. I didn't see it anywhere. I was testing some other foundations for you guys and actually some color correctors and some other things. And I'm breaking in to give you this one because I'm just, I haven't felt this excited about a foundation in a long time. I haven't felt this excited about a MAC foundation in a long time. Okay, I'm going to stop turning for you and we'll come back at the end of the day. Well, hi guys. It's been about eight and a half hours since I've put this on. So, Even the blush has stayed really good. This is the Italian Spritz Palette with the IT Cosmetics Waterproof Mascara. 
I am still very happy with both of those products. I'm enjoying this palette. I'm getting ready to switch over to another palette, but I am really liking this one. Um, this blush is still holding on. The foundation is looking really great. Remember, no helpers. No primer, no powder. It's still holding underneath my eyes very well. I think it really did a great job of concealing my under eye circles. For me, the greatest thing is if you want more coverage sometimes, but you have a hard time finding a foundation that can give you heavier coverage at a more mature age because it doesn't play well with your texture or your wrinkles or your lines, you may want to consider trying this one. I feel like I've been able to build it up and I have been able to share it out and even with enough coverage to cover my red and make me feel confident with that, any rosacea, all of this that goes on in my nose, which is usually red like Rudolph, it can cover that without looking cakey. And they're right, like there's no streaking, there's no sinking into lines or wrinkles or gathering. It's not doing any of the things that most foundations that are heavier for me do. I don't usually look good in any foundation that's medium or above, like full medium. Light, medium, and down is usually all I can do. And this this looks good. This looks good for me. You may say, you don't look good. <laughs> well, I'm 52 years old and no, I don't look perfect anymore. Never was a beauty queen, but for my skin, this is very complimentary. And compared to other foundations that I use, this is rocking it. This little injectable component from MAC is a exciting find that I am so glad that I did. If it wasn't for that one video, I don't even watch her channel on a regular basis. Just not because I don't like it, but because I'm busy and because I don't have a lot of time to watch a lot of YouTube channels other than those that I'm friends with and watch on a routine basis. So the bigger, larger channels, a lot of times I don't get to those. They don't need me, they have a lot of reviews anyway. And for some reason, that one showed up in my feed that day, and I watched it, and I was intrigued, and I think you should be intrigued too. So for $36, you can get a concealer and a foundation in one, and actually an eye primer also. I did not show you me using it that way, but you can, because it's not going to crease. It's going to provide a base for your eyeshadow it's not going to be drying on your lids so it's going to provide the perfect canvas all in one product for $36 and it's going to look good on you I think if you have oily skin it'll look good too because I think as any oil that I do have left in my skin comes through that it only looks better I don't have oily skin so I can't say for sure how it would wear on you but I think, it would, I think it would fit all skin types. So anyway, let me know in the comments. Have you seen this one? Did you even know this one was out there? Where has this one been hiding? The one that actually checks off so many of my boxes. And it's giving me the coverage that I always wanted but didn't think I could still have at my age. Two thumbs up. For me if I had more thumbs I'd give all of them up this is uh, this is one of my new favorites so and the fact that it's humidity resistant and sweat resistant and water resistant we're gonna be doing things like going to the beach doing things like being in the water catching crawfish here on my crawfish pond I'm gonna get water splashes it's gonna be hot it's gonna be humid so the fact that it holds up through all of that I've gone out and walked Gracie today a bunch of times because we're still working on house training because being abandoned she was never in a house so I take her out constantly all day and 
I've been out, I've been windblown, I've been sweaty, and it still looks great. So hopefully if you're interested in it right now, I, I hope it's coming to the US, but shipping wasn't expensive and shipping was fast and I just got it from the Harrods site. So I'll put that link below until it comes somewhere else. Hopefully it is coming here, but it is easy to get online at Harrods. So very, very, very impressed. Until next time, stay safe. And there won't always be this many videos in a week. I just happen to have a lot of products this week that I wanted to share with you. Mostly I am going to show you products on Sundays, but I thought this one deserved a video of its own and a couple of the other ones that I've shown this week I felt needed a video of its own. So go out and live like now. She lives a double life, puts on show, what's under the shadow smile, we'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa.